Now, one of the errors in the church today is some people <coughs> prosperity was overemphasized. To some, there was a, it was if you bring a hundred grand, you will get whatever. One thousand, ten thousand grand, whatever. Can God go to yes, He can. But the main thing is that you have to walk in the abundance of God. There are people today they don't believe in divine healing because healing passed away from the last apostles. But I'm here to tell you that we do not belong to the passed away church. We believe today when the Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 8, 4 verse 18, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Why is it that God wants to preach the gospel to the poor? For them to tell them you must remain poor now. Because the one verse, the next verse, verse 19 said, because it is the year of Jubilee, and Jubilee means that every bondage is broken over your life. Psalm 105, verse 5, he said, listen, remember the wonders he has done, his miracles, and the judgment he pronounced. Remember when God judged the things in our lives or that stood against us and you came out victorious. Let me tell you, when there's an embargo upon your life of sickness and disease or of poverty and lack, then God said, I will judge poverty in your life. I will judge sickness and disease upon your life. So it's an error to believe that we as believers should die from sickness and disease. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles and the judgment he pronounced. The wonders get somebody here uh, being reminded of what God has done for them. If I remember what the Lord has done, I'm here to tell you I'm so grateful because I remember his miracles of long ago. Don't I remember one day I was walking, I lived in Pont. I lived in Ponte. How many know where Ponte is? Ponte City, Maria. And I was walking to work in Durham Ponte. And as I wanted to cross the road, I was sort of consumed by my own thoughts. I didn't pay attention to the road. And a car came on a high speed I was about to cross. And there was an angel next to me. And he grabbed me. Because this car, it was like a, you know, an exit. But he was not supposed to drive that speed. About 120 k. I remember the wonders of the Lord. We traveled thousands and millions of miles in South Africa. And we saw the hand of protection upon our lives. This morning, Brother Will send us a message. Then there's the Texas strike and gang violence in our air, in the area of Mitchell's Plain. I remember the hand of protection. I remember I was in what is it? In, in Euclid, Westbury, Euclid. And while I drove 
down the road, I saw this car came past, I very fast, and I said to uh, my brother there from Namibia, it's not my brother, it's another brother from another mother. And I said to him, that's the Baranos or the Takanos. And they start shooting on one another. I was in the same direction. But I thank God for the power of the blood. Amen. I said, I thank God for his wonders, for his miracles, for his hand of protection. Remember what God has done for you this time. Where he delivered you from, where he brought you from, where his hand of protection was upon your life, where the enemy came and the voice of the enemy said, You were supposed to die 18 years ago. That was about six, seven, eight, ten years and nine years ago. You were supposed to die, but you did not die. And I'm here to tell you, I remember the wonders of my God. I said I will remember the wonders of my God. Is there somebody in this house that you saw the wonders of God, the provision of God, the hand of the Lord upon your life? How many came into this house when they were they had cancer or wherever I traveled? When I remember that the Lord said, or the doctor said, three days and you will die. How many times did we go into a hospital? And the doctor said, the wife would say, the doctor said three days. But today, after ten years, nine years, they are still alive. Why? Because God still has the last say. It does not matter what your circumstances are. Sometimes you turn up when you walk and you see a wall in front of you. It's like a mountain. I'm here to be free and declare that every mountain in your life will become level ground. What is this mountain? What is this mountain before you? It will become level ground. Every mountain in your life, it will become level ground. What the Lord has done in the past, you will do it again and again and again and again and again. And again. There is nothing impossible with my God. The only time that I'm shocked is not when God brings the dead. Or when they heal the sick, it is when nothing is happening. Because there's an expectancy in me that when we pray, that God answers prayer. How many times in my life I remember how God answers prayer at the nick of time. When he, when he, when he establishes himself, confirm his word in our lives by signs, wonders, and miracles. When people told me when the first time I went up to the Lord and they told me to pastors told me and said to me, you will never make it. I walked in the area for more than 80 years in the place that I was not supposed to make it. Why? Because the God that I serve, he is yesterday, today, forever be the same. He is the same God. Psalm 111 verse 3 in the living Bible it says for those who are thankful partner this with me for his mighty miracles declare his honor his majesty and eternal goodness Psalm 77 verse 11 I will remember the deeds of the Lord I will remember his miracles of long ago. I will meditate on all his mighty works and consider all his mighty deeds. For you, O oh Lord, are holy. There is no God that can do miracles like our God. He has the power to redeem his people from the grave. He has the power. 
He is the one that makes the, those who are set on the dark hill, those for those who are no hope. He is the one that can deliver you and bring you amongst princes. He can set you amongst kings. He can set you in high places. Remember what the Lord has done. I prophesy over somebody, not because of your background, not because of your education, but because of the goodness of God. God is bringing you into a high place, a place of, of exaltation, a place where you will remember what the Lord has done. There's an old chorus that says, Remember what the Lord has done. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 oh, when I remember what the Lord has done, that is the Lord. When I remember what the Lord has done. There was 
Jesus, tiny shepherd of all. When he said, Who is this uncircumcised Palestine that defies the army of God? Who is this uncircumcised Palestine that defies the army of God? There is no witch, no worship. There is no house of death for ransom that can defy the army of God. I said there is no government that can defy the army of God. We call it every house spirit, every unclean devil in our government. Be removed by fire in the name of Jesus. Every law that is implemented to muscle the voice of the church. I said to muscle the voice of the church by the power of the might of God, by fire and by force, we release the power of God against the work of darkness. We will not be ashamed and we will not be afraid. Look what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. How many of you experience the healing virtue of power of God? How many of you experience that the Lord is God and there is no other? Amen. The healing virtue and the power of God is so great. I remember what the Lord has done even in my own life and in our own family. Touch my body. They should have laid me on a conveyor belt and, like Leon Schuster, Baham Yiri Wunder Yen, they were to. But the Lord has been good. I said, The Lord has been good. Because his mercy is endure forever. The goodness of God is for a thousand generations. The covenant of God is forevermore. You are a covenant uh, child today. And because you are a covenant child, let's, that's the reason that you can smile because of what the Lord has done. I decree and I declare every impossibility in your life become possible. When David said, Who is this uncircumcised Palestine that divide the army of the Lord? And they said, This man is a mighty warrior. He's the main Kohen. He's the main Kohen. Everybody shake in his presence. He remember. He said to Saul, I killed the lion and the bear. A young man, I don't think he was heavier than me, my same weight. He said, I killed the lion and the bear who is this uncircumcised Philistine. Always remember what God has done. Sometimes you just need a testimony to remind you of the goodness of God. Sometimes you have to go deep and say, Lord, I remember that day. I remember what you have done in my life. You brought me out. You delivered me. I should not be here, but because of your grace and because you are able, Lord, you are able to provide. You are able. You are more than enough. Hallelujah. I will give you the land of Canaan. I don't know what your Canaan is, but take possession of what God has promised. I said take possession of what God has promised. He promised to provide. He promised to deliver. He promised to separate. He promised that I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Verse 16, he called down 
into headship of the nation of Egypt. It brought a famine in the land. I pray today that the God that I serve, that the world will experience a famine, but you carry the answer. I said you carry the answer. If I was you, I would have jumped. Out of the chairs. I said I would have jumped because you carry the answer. I said you carry the answer. It caused a panic upon the land. But there was one family. One man that had the answer to the problem. For every Pharaoh there is a Joseph. You will be a Joseph to the Pharaoh in your situation. You will carry the green upon the heart. I say you will carry the green upon the heart. Do not look at your circumstances. Can I read to you Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 14? The youth may have come from prison to kingship, or he may have been born in poverty within his kingdom. Anybody with a, another translation of the old King James? The old King James is something I like. It's gold. I like the old King James. It basically means, beloved, it takes you out from prison and put you in a place of authority and power. I don't care what prison you are in now. I said, I don't care what prison you are in now. You will take you out. Come on. 
If I remember how the Lord brought us when we started this house nine years ago. Let me tell you, we did not go and ask people to join us. We did not go and ask for money to support us. <clears throat> I remember the days of small beginnings of where we brought us here today. The Peters and family there at the back. They were with us from 2008. We started in 2010. At that time, I still traveled a lot. But the Lord has been good to us. One of these days, we will start in Mama's glory as well. Come on. I said, one of these days, we prophesied. A door, a mighty door will be opened in Mama's hurry. A great and significant door will be opened in Johanna's birth. I said in Johanna's birth in Kiki, in Kenya and in Zambia, in the Americas, in Scotland, in England. I prophesy because the time Nobody. 
Amen. Mm-hmm. 